Here's how to edit videos for social media content. To do this, we will use the free version of DaVinci Resolve, which can be downloaded on their website. While scrolling through social media, find a video you would like to recreate. Then screen record the video and audio. In DaVinci Resolve, we will open a new project and name it whatever you like. Then we will go into the settings and make sure the timeline resolution is in 1920 by 1080 HD. Then check the box for use vertical resolution. Open the media pool and import all the footage you will be using for your reels. We will start with the screen recording and trim it to the exact points where the reel starts and ends. We will then select the clip and use the arrow keys to move forward to the exact spot where a cut happens in the reel. We will then click M on our keyboard to create a mark. We will do that for all the cuts in this clip. Once that is complete, we will drag in our clips and fit them in between each of the markers. And then we have our final reel. Next, we can create a cinematic reel. Import your clip into the timeline and cut off the rest that we won't use. Then we will open the effects, go to titles and find text and drag that above our clip. Then click on the text and go to the title and adjust the text to your liking. We can then fade in and out the text to create a more cinematic feel. Next is a talking head clip. We will import our talking head into the timeline. Then we will copy and paste the talking head and put the second one above the first clip. With the bottom click selected, we will increase the zoom till it fills the entire frame. Then we will head over to the effects and find Gaussian blur and apply that to the bottom layer. Then you can go ahead and increase the blur. With the top clip selected, we can then adjust the framing. When that is complete, we will go to the effects and find subtitles and drag that above the two clips. Then we can start typing out the subtitle and create add new every time we need a new subtitle. Then adjust the text for every single subtitle until we're finished. Once that is complete, we can adjust the text fonts and background colors to your likings. Here are three different ways to use the magic mask in DaVinci Resolve.